And it's time to take a look at our tail of the tape for this fight, brought to you by Bud Light, the beer you can always count on. The age goes to Brandon Hippelman. The height is dead even. Slight edge in height, the hot rod, while Vince Morales holds a nearly five inch advantage in height. It's six and one, it's 10 and three. It's time for the fight as we go inside the cage with Britt Talbert. Fight fans, we have reached that point of the evening. It's now time for our main event. Three five minute rounds in the Front Street Fights Bantamweight division and it's brought to you by Bodybuilding.com. Are you ready for a downtown throwdown? Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left. Entering tonight's contest with six wins against only one loss. Standing in at five feet, five inches tall and weighing in at 134.9 pounds. Fighting out of Ontario, Oregon, he proudly represents American free fight. I give you Vince Vendetta Morales! Now fighting out of the red corner to my right. He returns to the cage tonight with a record of 10 wins against three defeats. He also stands in at five feet, five inches tall and weighing in at 135.2 pounds. He fights out of Twin Falls, Idaho, and he proudly represents Hippelman MMA. Please welcome back, Brandon Hot Rod Hippelman. Our referee in charge of tonight's main event is Rulin Day. Rulin, fighter's instructions, please. Okay, gentlemen, you've already received your instructions. I expect to obey my commands at all times. Let's fight hard, fight fair. Let's leave it all in the ring. Touch gloves, come out fighting. Sit back, try to relax. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the fight. It is the main event. The return of Brandon Hot Rod Hempelman, the rise of Vince Morales. This is Front Street Fight 15, presented by Bodybuilding.com. Good inside kick there by Brandon Hempelman. Hempelman constantly switching stances here. Another outside kick. Only oh, using that kind of as the uh, kind of the legs version of a jab there. Just a yeah. little short tap. Vince able to get in close there. Brandon doing a good job pushing him away, getting back to his stance. You know, Brandon's brain just fires so fast. You know, it was like that little uh, interaction there, you know, it's like he wanted to knee and then he wanted to push away and it's kind of like he did both at the same time. And, you know, so he's just, it seems like he's just starting to kind of find his rhythm a little bit, you know. Overhand right by Vince Morales, knocking Hippelman back, but standing his ground, coming right back with the inside kick is the hot rod. Changing stances again is When you're changing stances that much, what does that do to your opponent? Obviously, you, you want to try and throw him off, maybe confuse him a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, oh, nice little slip there. Um, Good smile there by Yeah, Vince. just giving him different looks, you know. I mean, that's all, all he's really doing. And, and sometimes it's trying to, like, turn the dial on a combo lock. You know, if it's not working one way, then you switch the other way. So it's kind of a combination of both. Some people will do it when they're in trouble. You know, obviously, that's not the case here. You know, but but Brandon seems to just try to find, okay, what can I look at? Or just kind of distort him a little bit. You know, don't give him the same read over and over. You've seen Brandon favor those kicks, both inside and outside to the legs of Vince Morales. Vince doing a good job of holding steady. Starting to push more a little bit, also countering when he sees those kicks coming with either an overhand right or a left. Yeah, and what you're seeing too is, you know, Vince is really good at kind of controlling, you know, controlling the tempo, you know, let Brandon kind of exhaust his energy and jump around a lot. But, you know, Brandon doesn't gas. Uh, but you know he's just doing really good, just kind of uh, throw, you know, kind of shaking up the tempo by by being slower, you know. Make me fight. Make me fight a little bit. 
You saw a really quick burst of speed. Uh, obviously shaking off the uh, cage rest there. Hempelman going for the, the spinning kick there, able to avoid what could have been a disastrous punch from Vince Morales, really escaping, resetting, getting back. So good to see that uh, you know, Hempelman appears to not be suffering from too much at the cage rest. And as always, as you see it, Vince Morales just holding strong and steady like he always does. Yeah, and Hempelman's, you know, Hempelman's record is 10-3, but he fought, you know, some, some amazing, amazing guys. You know, guys that, you know, he fought the champ, uh, you know, in, uh, what was that? Uh, not Bellator. It was, uh, yeah, it was Bellator. World Series of Fighting. Yeah, World Series of Fighting. Fought the champ. Uh, it's Marais. I think it was. Uh, and uh, Good duck there by Brandon Hempelman. Nice leg kick by Hempelman. And you know, so so ring rust from what though? You know, from ring rust from you know the top well, of the world. Well, you say that if you, know, you know what I'm saying. You know, he hasn't hasn't competed in nearly three years, but hasn't you know exactly yeah. not been yeah. active. Oh, good overhand right by Vince Morales. And what Shakes else? Hempelman back. Right. Oh. Right there. Another right. Has Brandon back on his heels a little bit. Comes with a right and a left. Vince Morales pouring it on right now. As we come up to just about one minute left in this first round. I will tell you this from knowing Hempelman is he likes to get hit like meaning you know he does well in adversity and a lot of times he's kind of a slow starter and gets kind of beat up that first oh, round. Good job there. But he's not you holding his hands up man. You saw the movement there like he was coming for an uppercut able to hit the brakes turn it up and, and connect with the left. Brandon going for the double leg takedown. Vince Morales doing a good job pushing the legs out as this crowd starts to erupt. We come up on the final 30 seconds of a round number one. Vince is really finding a rhythm right here. You know, really finding a rhythm. He's connected with about four or five right shots to the left side of Vince's face there. Or, uh, excuse me, to Brandon's face. Hempelman's face. Oh, good follow-up left there. Into the final 10 seconds. Awesome around number one, and you see it. Both men right there high-fiving each other. This can't get much better, man. I tell you what. We're only through round number one, but my God. Yeah, this is a great fight so far, man. And, you know, like I said, you know, Brandon does really good, you know, getting kind of backed into a corner. That's Brandon's style. As we go to the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, you decide when. We'll show you how. Visit projectfilter.org. You saw it early on there. Vince rocking Brandon. But as you mentioned, Hempelman said he likes to get hit. So yeah. far, he's done just that. Vince is taking a few shots of own. And uh, both Hempelman and Morales staying strong in there right now. Vince is doing a really good job. You know, Vince is doing a really good job. And here's you're going to see this uh, this shot attempt. I mean, it was full penetration all the way down. Just couldn't follow it up and finish it on top. But, you know, that's what you're going to see. But, you know, kudos to uh, Morales. I mean, he's just doing a great job, you know, staying, staying in it. And not really staying in it, dictating the fight. Absolutely. I would say the last... Almost half of that round, Vince Morales really dictated, really making Hippelman work for it. Yeah. Again, that double leg takedown he shot for. But on the, the flip side of that, kudos to, the, to Brandon for able to realizing, okay, this isn't working. Yeah. Hitting reverse, getting out of there real quick and resetting as we enter round number two. Yeah, to finish my thought from the first round, what I was saying was, man, you know, you like when, you, when you're fighting the best in the world and then you have ring rest from that, nice uppercut attempt by Hippelman. You know, well, that like, came after a left and right combination yeah. from Vince, and, and both men really trading blows. Take your time. Take your time. Good defense, Vince. Be first. Be first. I need you to face. Face. Face, and then pull. Face, and then pull. Oh, Vince is down. Vince got rocked there. Hippelman. He sees it, too. Hempelman doing a really good job trying to land three or four shots and just as soon as you see him go down, jump on top of him. Vince doing a good job standing back up. And I mean, both of these men yeah. don't know what to say right now. Studies have shown the more, more athletic you are, the more in shape you are, the more fitness you have. Those little flash knockouts, you recover a lot faster. Well, and that was the, uh, the kryptonite to Brandon Hempelman yeah. at the fight score when he stopped Steven Styler. You know, minus the fact that, you know, Steven Tyler came in at eight pounds oh. overweight. 
yeah. it was one shot and, it, and we've seen that blow several times tonight yeah. as you hear the crowd half the crowd starting to chant Vince yeah. You got some chance for Brandon. Yes. And look how Hempelman's, you know, now Hempelman's, you know, this is Hempelman's tempo now right too. now. You know, this is his fight thus far, you know, in this round. And, uh, you know, Both the rounds, going tip for tat. The round's not over, definitely. But, but you know, like I was saying about the adversity part, you know, is he's, he's definitely used to kind of being down on the cards. Vince is doing a really good job of using those short, quick jabs. We saw it in round number one. We saw two of them right there. Vince's leg, his lead leg, left leg is uh, you know, pretty welted on both sides, in and out. Oh! There you go, Hempelman. Inside kick by Brandon, yep. overhand right by Morales. No way! Double, triple! Double that jab up! Whoa. Both of that rock Brandon! That one rock Brandon! This could be the shot that ends it! Is Brandon gonna get out of this one somehow? Somehow survives that one. But he is in a world of hurt right now. Vince smells blood, he goes for it. That's it, the fight is over. Vince Morales knocks out Brandon Hot Rod Hippelman. The rise continues. One shot can win a fight, and that is all it took. Brandon Hippelman gave it a hell of a run. You saw him stand through several, several fights, standing there Absolutely. and took it, and it was that one shot that you thought you rocked him, somehow got out of it. But at the very end there, Vince stayed persistent, waited for that one opportunity, found it and absolutely knocked him to the ground. As we go to the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, you decide when we'll show you how, visit projectfilter.org. There it is right there. That was the first right jab that we thought single at the end of the fight. How in the world Brandon Hempelman survived that? I'm not saying that he 100% did, but how he did, I don't know, but you're gonna see the knockout blow coming up here in just a second. Vince just taking his time, setting up the right shot. You know, had the two jabs and followed with the right cross and just put him away. We take a second look at the inning of the fight and what an inning it was. I still have no idea how Brandon did just crumple there. You take the overhand look at the overhand shot that drives him back into the cage and that one is it. Brandon Hippelman wins the fight tonight good job you know brandon great job great job to vince you know he he implemented an amazing game plan he stayed cool you know he kind of controlled the ring and he just didn't get sucked into brandon's uh you know um patented uh you know fast tempo and you know he just stayed cool and calm and and uh you know it's really good really good win for for uh vince morales All right, well, we're going to cement this one in the history books of Front Street Fights as we get the official results going inside the cage with Britt Talbert. Hi, fans. Couple of good friends just put on a hell of a show, didn't they? You guys have been waiting for that? You got it. Here we go. At 2.38 of round number two, referee Roland Day will stop this fight by way of a TKO, improving his record to seven and one. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Vince Vendetta Morales. We'll now give Vince a swag bag from our friends at bodybuilding.com. Harley Davidson Ring Girls, and we'll turn it over to MJ for our post fight interview. MJ. Switch microphones there, guys. Congratulations to both the men right there. 
Vince, the fight, we've been talking about it for weeks. It came, it went. You ended up victorious. First of all, just talk about the respect factor and the friendship between you and, and Brandon Hempelman and, and, and what a tough fight this was. First, first. Ontario! Louder! Yeah, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I really respect uh, Hempelman, man. He's, he's done so much for the sport around here. He helped me before. He's, he's the man. <laughs> yeah, I got to lose the mouth feet there, bud. That's better, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I respect Brandon a lot, man. He's, he's great. Just talk about that. Of course, he comes back after a three-year absence. You are now on a five-fight win streak. You guys were absolutely trading blows there. Several times you were both landing some pretty hard hits. Hey, can he still punch after three years? And what were you doing to give it to him towards the end there? Uh, vendetta. He hits me. I got to hit him back harder. That's all it is. All right. Well, you last time you were with us at Brunch Free Fights 10... You won the featherweight title. You dropped that title to move down to bantamweight. You made a very prophetic statement inside this cage tonight in the bantamweight division. You know who the champ is. What's next for Vince Morales? Whatever's going to get me to a big show. I mean, I don't know what else they like. All I got to finish is it's just, man, I'm trying to get to a big show. If that means I got to fight Brock for the title here, let's do that. If it means I got to go elsewhere, I mean, just sign me up and get me fighting. Let's go. All right, before we get on out of here, who do you want to thank tonight? Obviously, gave a shout-out to Ontario. Any sponsors, coaches, fighters, who do you want to thank before we get on out of here? Yeah, Phones Plus has been a huge one wherever they are. There they are, yeah. Uh, they've been great. They've done so much for me. Uh, they really went above and beyond. Um, all, man, all my sponsors, really. My Fight Stuff did the shirts. It was great. And just anybody who even purchased a ticket, thank you so much. You make this a reality for me, so thank you. All right, give it up for one more time, Vince Vendetta! Morales!